Today I'm going to show you guys how to mount your red rubber stamps <clears throat> on the whip locks and also Stampin' Up's new clear mount stamps. We're going to go ahead and start with the um, wooden rubber stamps and I've already um, attached one of them and I already have them with their associating block. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the sleeve here. We're going to find its corresponding sticker. And what we're going to do is take the back off the foam. And now when you take the back off this foam, it's going to be really sticky. So what you want to do is you want to place it on your your wood block, but don't place it on really hard yet. Just kind of let it fall. Make sure it's how you want it. And then press it down. <clears throat> and what you do is you get the sticker out that matches it. And whenever you flip the sticker over, you can see how it how it lines up exactly with your stamped image. So what you do is you just take the block and you flip it over and take your sticker and flip it over. That way you know you have it going the right way. Go ahead and line your sticker up. And then press it down. And there you go. It's easy as that. Go ahead and push those out of the way. And now what I'm going to show you how to do is the new clear mount. <clears throat> now the clear mount stamps, and I've already gone ahead and done one of them. The clear mount stamps come just like a regular wood mount stamp would. Here's the rubber from those. But the only difference is, is <clears throat> there's no block. Because a wooden block, because we use clear blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and do this little lion. So, you see the little lion here? There's also the sticker sheet. Now, the sticker sheet's different than the regular sticker sheet for the wood mount. On the clear mount stamps, there's one side that has a slit down the sticker in the backing. Whenever you peel this, this part off, the, it's really, really sticky. But on the other side of it, whenever we attach it, it's going to be the clear mount. So what you do is you take off the back, where the slit is, and then you also take the backing off the foam. Now when you take the backing off this foam, it's smooth. There's no stickiness yet. So what you're going to do is just take your little image, that turtle, and uh, line them up within the image that you just removed the backing from. Remember, it's really, really sticky, so wherever you press, that's where it's going to stay. Go ahead and line it up, press it down, <clears throat> and then peel it away nice and easy. Some of the smaller images are a little harder, so you'll have to be a little more careful when you do it, but this one's fine. And then it just pops off, and it has a, a clean edge all the way around, and now it's a clean mount. I don't have any of the blocks handy, but it does stick to the case, just like it would the block. And there you go. So that's how you mount the new clear mount and the standard wood mount blocks. And that's all I have for you. Thanks.